Holger Rune versus Francis Tiafo is the second semi final for the men's Cincinnati Open for 2024. Both guys were not expected to get this far. Tiafo entered the tournament unseeded and would take on Davidovich Rikina in the first round, and after a close second set, would get through in straights. 6 3 7 6. In the second round, he'd take on Musetti, the 14th seed, who had just won a bronze medal at the Olympics. This is so easy for Tiafo getting through in straights. 6 3 6 2. In the third round, he'd take on Lehechka, who had just beaten Medvedev in the previous round. This was a battle. After splitting the first two sets, it went down to the wire, with Tiafo getting through in three. 6 4 6 7 6. Seven, six. In the quarterfinals, he'd take on Hercatch, the fifth seed, who'd been very impressive in his comeback from injury. But unfortunately, after Tiafo won the first set, Hercatch couldn't continue, handing Tiafo the retirement, 6 3 retirement, to advance to the semi finals. Runa entered the tournament as the number 15 seed, and would take on Berrettini in the first round. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win, 2 6 6 1 6 4. In the second round, he'd take on Borges, and after a close second set, would get through in straights. 6 3 7 6. In the third round, he'd take on Monfils, who had just beaten Alcaraz a few hours earlier. And after dropping the first set, Runa would fight back to win. 3 6 6 3 6 4. In the quarterfinals, Runa would take on Draper, who'd been having a very impressive week by beating City Pass and Ojeli Asim along the way. But Runa was too strong, getting through in straights. 6 4 6 2 to advance to the semi finals. These guys have actually never played before, which is kind of crazy because it's not like they haven't been around over the last couple of years. Of course, Tiafo hasn't been great the last season or so, but he was great in 2022, and Runa. That was when he started coming up and really doing well. So really crazy these guys haven't played before, but you know it's going to be entertaining when they do. But having a look at the shot quality, thanks to Tennis Insights, for the tournament average, an 8.2 on the serve for Tiafo next to the 7.5 that Runa has. So Tiafo this week's been serving a lot better. Also just leads on the returns with a 6.9 compared to Runa's 6.2. Also has a small lead on the forehand with a 7.4 compared to a 7.3 for Runa. So almost dead even. And same on the backhand as well. 7.2 to Tiafo, 7.0 to Runa. So when the rally gets started, it's going to be 50-50, but the serving of Tiafo is going to be massive in this one and a massive deal. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter. Link down in the description. What a great matchup, and we're going to get someone making the Cincinnati final for the first time. Is it going to be the hometown guy? Is it going to be Runa? I'm going to go with Runa in this one in three. I think he just outlasts Tiafo in the end. I think maybe it goes down to the white, maybe even a tiebreak final set. But I just think Runa's going to outlast Tiafo in the end. But man, what a great match. Who's going to win? Who's going to make the final?